Happy Monday, everybody. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend and was safe and snug in the snow um, and that everybody managed to be okay. So um, hope it all went well. So just a few slides today. We're gonna to talk a little bit about communications. We're gonna hit on some USDA foods, round three of SCA funding and some reminders. So communications, I wanted to go over the list of communication tools that we use here in the office to reach out to you. Um, first of all, we have our listserv. Um, that should be a way that you guys can communicate with each other um, and share ideas or ask for help. Um, and that is your tool to use. We are trying really hard to stay off of it and leave it just for you guys. We're continuing to use our Thursday update um, in order to send out that information to you. That Thursday update is also housed on our website. Um, and that information is there for you guys to go back and look at. They're all listed and they're right on the front page of our website. I'm hosting this monthly webinar with hot topics, new information and work from behind the scenes um, to try and keep you guys up to date as well. Our web page uh, is continually being updated every week with new resources, Thursday update, any of your reference forms, any of the copies, training videos, documents, there's all sorts of stuff on there. So be able, be sure to use it as a reference tool for yourselves if you're looking for something that you might need. And don't forget, there's always phone and email and the child nutrition team is available to answer questions or concerns. Um, let us know what we can do for you or if we can help you in any way. US, oh, I did that backwards. USDA Foods, <laughs> oops. Um, so the annual order is gonna be opening up in January. Um, Terry is working on that. Um, and the instructions will be in the Thursday update um, on January 4th. So I wanted to let you know that those were coming and that after your wonderful vacations, you guys can start thinking about your USDA foods for next year. We have a few reminders from the local foods team. Um, don't forget to pledge for your harvest of the month. You can do that at any time of the year um, and you can sign up and receive your free toolkit. You can join the wait list for the upcoming training for Good Crust. Um, they're gonna come into the to Walter's Kitchen here in Augusta on January 25th. Um, stay tuned for more trainings. Um, we're really looking to try and do one per month. So you should see those coming up soon. Don't forget to sign up um, to get your local foods fund. Remember you get $1 back for every $3 you spend in local foods. Those are for Maine grown foods. Um, and you just need to upload your receipt um, when you do your reimbursement or your claim each month. Any questions about Farm and Seed of School or Harvest of the Month, you can reach out to Robin Gerber and she can help you with that. There's lots of money there, people, so let's spend it. They're also having the Farm to School cook-off. The cook-off is in January. Um, so really think about what you, if you have a team that you could sign up, we're really looking to have a good set of teams this year and do three different cook-offs. And then of course the finale will be here in Augusta. So think about what you might wanna use for teams, one culinary staff person and one student. So round three of SCA funds are here. Um, you can sign up now and the link was in last Thursday's update and it will be in this Thursday's update. Um, and I wanted to really encourage you to sign up to take these funds. These funds are there for you to use in these tough economic times when food costs are so high. Um, just remember that it is used for minimally processed foods. So 
you could do your pizza dough or you could do your cheese or you could do your tomatoes um but just not the whole thing combined um so we would really encourage you to sign up and get those funds to use them within your program um, it's just another way to help you out from our friends at the feds i wanted to rem remind you about monitor visits um so nslp monitors monitor visits must be completed by february 1st um, and there should be one form for each site so any school district that has more than one school should be doing these site monitor review forms one form for each school or each site that you oversee um, so that's an slp ffvp it needs to be do, done once a year it's very similar form and then after school snack program this needs to get done twice a year um, it should be done first within the first four weeks of the program and then one other time during the school year we find a lot of issues with a after school snack um, even though it isn't as popular um, so really try and get out there and test it out so just a reminder about these visits that need to happen um, especially the nslp one before february 1st and then you keep those on site and you file those with us documentation um, i saw this great new graphic from sna their new national school breakfast week is going to be march 6th through 10th the campaign is to help us promote healthy meals and engage students raise community awareness and expand the market this year's theme is dig into school breakfast build your own breakfast um, so some really fun ideas that you might want to take part in um, check out the web page at schoolnutrition.org nsbw um, it'll be it's a good opportunity to bring some other marketing information into your cafeterias um, and try and engage those kids and they usually come out with some pretty good menus so check it out we have some upcoming events here um, in augusta so we're offering the surf safe exam only which is on january 25th at two o'clock um, we are offering the in-person culinary training that I mentioned earlier with Robin and the Good Crust. Um, and then as requested at our fall info meeting, um, we're doing a special dietary accommodations roundtable discussion. Um, and that's on January 26th at 1.30. Um, we're gonna hold that in here in Augusta and then we're gonna offer it virtually as well. So if anybody would like to take part in that round table, bring your questions and concerns. It is not gonna be a presentation. It will be a dis round table discussion, what you guys are doing in the field, what's working for you, what are you having a hard time with? Um, definitely uh, all in all discussion about what we can do and what you can offer. And we're just there to help you. Um, monitor the the discussion so if you'd really like to sign up for that that's on january 26th at 1 30. i wanted to let you guys know um there is some chatter about an upcoming proposed meal pattern rule that will take effect in 23 24 most likely um, and we'll be able to make comments on the rule in early of 23. So I wanted you to keep your eyes out for that um, and encourage you to make comments um, on the rules as, as you see them. Um, USDA do read every comment that we submit, and this is our opportunity to tell them what we think before the rule comes down and we have to follow it. 
So really, I would encourage you guys to really read the rule and make comments um, and let them know what you think, um, especially from an operations point of view. Um, since they're not out in the fields, you guys are. So I would encourage you to do that when you see it come around. And if you're looking for new ideas, I want to remind everybody that the Child Nutrition Recipe Box is out there on the CNIC website. Um, it's a great way to get some new recipes if you're looking, just looking for ideas that are out there. Um, they're all standardized and they all have meal, the meal pattern on them. Um, they meet the meal pattern requirements um, and they're good good for a change of pace if you're looking for some new ideas. So I wanted to make sure to mention that. Um, you know, new year, new ideas, oh, just a thought. And I just wanted to thank you all for um, a wonderful start of the school year and wishing you all a well-deserved vacation. I hope it's a great week for you um, and then you get to do what makes you happy. Paula, any questions today? We have one. Does round three also have to be used by September? Round three needs to be to you guys, but by September, it does not need to be used by September. Um, we would encourage you to take advantage of having the funds and being able to use them in these economic times, um, but you will not need to return them if you have not used them. So I'll give you all a couple of more minutes. Um, if there's anything else that we can do for you, make sure you give us a call or send us an email. Um, and again, wanted to wish you a great week off. All right, take care everybody.